last 12 years, we've been having a, a day out to Rose Island. It's a beautiful day of snorkeling. We bring some little snacks, watermelon, juice, and, and just enjoy the day in the water and on the beach. So it's a wonderful break. And really, one of the most beautiful places I've been in the, in the Bahamas. Rose Island is a place that Swami Vishnu took us way back in, from when he first came here. These ashrams are located in beautiful places, so I've taken it on as one of my duties to get people out of the ashram, to get to see the beauty around, and enjoy their surroundings. You know, but very careful where I, where I take people, and just taking the places that Swami Vishnu recommended. It doesn't take us out of our sattvic atmosphere, or our pure atmosphere, that really allows us to keep our yogic energy. People come here from all over the world, all over the world. And then we get out into the open ocean for a while and uh, we get to stop and uh, go right off the boat snorkeling. Snorkeling equipment uh, uh, provided. Um, people are giving life vests, so even if you're not a swimmer, you can go. And you just uh, stay in the water 20, 25, 30 minutes, snorkel around. So many people saw their first uh, tropical fish ever. Beautiful, colorful fish, iridescent blues and purple and yellows and fishes with stripes. And so, so many people said, it's just another, a different world under there. It's like you go to another planet. Then we get back on the boat and the boat brings us right onto this beautiful white sand beach. We are on a little island out in the middle of the Bahamas, scuba diving for the day. Um, it's my second time here, and I love it. it. The people are amazing, they're very sweet, caring, and I love it here. So usually there's one complaint about the Rose Island trip. It's always the same complaint every year, and it's, why do we have to leave already? You know, people don't want to leave the place. 